Empowering women is key to poverty reduction and spurring economic development due to their contribution to the social, economic, cultural and political aspects of society. This empowerment is often measured by access to resources and women's ability to make decisions on how they are used. To achieve this, the United Nations Capital Investment Agency, UNCDF, and its partners held a forum on digital financial services for women. What this conference tried to do is help people better understand the lives of women, better understand the strengths of women, and how to leverage those in order to improve capturing the opportunity of 51% of the population, both in terms of acquiring customers, which is a huge challenge for our uh, digital financial service providers, as well as improving their agent networks and improving their business in general. Even so, there are barriers preventing women from accessing digital financial services. The world is really uh, developing very quickly in terms of the role that mobile can play in delivering financial services. But women are st we're still finding women to be excluded, um, despite the fact that there's a big demand for it. And so the jump between a mobile product and it serving a woman's needs isn't necessarily obvious. This conference has helped me in such a way that we are able to identify most of the challenges that we face in the field, like women agents especially. We are faced with lack of support, let's say financially, tool-wise, and then maybe the fraud situation and insecurity that is faced around. As a three-day conference comes to an end, one thing is clear. Women are assets in the digital and financial scene. Therefore, it is important to sensitize women in order to bridge the gap in the digital financial services and also for better financial inclusion. Elaine Wangalwa reporting for African News in Kampala, Uganda.